We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello everyone. We are going to discuss standard web controls available in ASP.NET. So these are the list of standard web controls which are available in ASP.NET. First one is button, second one is text box, third is label, fourth is hyperlink, next is filing upload, next is checkbox control, then radio button control and last one is image control. Now we'll start with the first control that is button control. Button control is used to create a button that sends a request to a web page. It posts the data to the server when it is clicked. A namespace hierarchy for the button control is system.object, then system.web.ui.control, then system.web.ui.webcontrols.webcontrol and then system.web.ui.webcontrols.button Now we'll discuss some properties available for the button controls. These properties are not cover all properties of button controls. We are putting over here journal used property of button controls. Among that first is causes validation. It is used to obtain or set a value indicating whether or not validation is performed when button control is clicked. Next is command argument. It is used to obtain or set optional parameter passed to the command event along with the associated command name property. Next is command name. It is used to obtain or set the command name associated with the button control that is passed to the command event. Next is on client click. It is used to obtain or set the client side script that executes when a button controls is click event is raised. Next is postback URL. It is used to obtain or set the URL of the page to post when the button control is clicked. Next is text. It is obtain or set the text to be displayed on button control. This text property is working as caption for the button control. Next is use submit behavior. It is used to obtain or set value indicating whether the button control uses the client browser submit mechanism or ASP.NET pushback mechanism to submit the data to the server. Next is validation group. It is used to set or obtain the group of controls for which button control cause validation when it posts back to the server. Apart from these properties, few events is also available for button control. Among that, first is click event. It occurs when button control is clicked. Next is command event. It occurs when the button control is clicked. This event help you to create multiple button controls on a web page and then it programmatically determine which button control has been clicked. It means this command event help us when uh, we have a multiple button on our web page. In HTML, if you are going to use button, then you are using input tag. But ASP.NET standard controls will write like this. For example, ASP colon button ID equals to button one run at server. This property defines that this control is a web control and it will execute on server. Next is text that is equal to button. Now we'll see an example of button control. Then we'll discuss next other controls. Now to understand the real time example of button, we have to create web form application for that you have to go to new project 
then select a web from the categories and then you have to add asp.net web form application give appropriate name to it for example standard web controls i am saving it it will take some time to create your web application when we will create a new web application visual studio give us a default aspx page to us just close it we'll add our own new web form to add our own new web form we have to just go to solution explorer just right click on the project name and go to add and go to new item then we have to select a web form and give appropriate name to this web form for example i am going to do the example of button controls i am giving button example it will shows a web form with some predefined tag over here these tags are nothing but it is html tags you can see html head tag body tag form tag and division tag if we want to see a design portion of this you have to click just design tab over here it will gives a design view over here if we want to go the code view then you have to just click on source okay so it gives a design view over here now if we want to write something over here for example this is the example for button control so we'll write like this you can just check the code over here this is add this thing into our division tag okay now if we want to add button into this just we have to take the reference of toolbox toolbox is available like this and now we have to go to the standard control we have to go to the standard tab in which the common controls and standard controls are available from which we just have to use button control by dragging it and drop it in our appropriate location for example i am dragging it uh, dragging it and dropping it over here just go to the source it will give us a code like this which already we discussed in our presentation that is asp colon id equals to button one run at server and text equals to button now we'll go to design now if you want to check the property if a property of it just click on f4 button or go to property window this window give us a different property like this okay so if we want to change the caption of this button or if we want to change the text of this button then we'll write like this click on me i will welcome you okay just enter it see it will give a caption on it that is click on me i will welcome you now if we want to do something that if we click this button and it is give some message on this waveform then we will do like this just double click on this button to create the event of this i'm just double clicking it it take me to the dot cs file of this aspx waveform and it is create a but buttons click event like this that our button name is button one and it creates event that event is nothing but it is a click event now if we want to give some message on our web page then we'll just write like this response dot write and in this write method we'll 
like our message for example hello welcome hello welcome to the world of asp.net now if we want to check how it is work we'll just run it uh, from here uh, it will give some running options over here this option is nothing but we can choose a web browser which is available on our system it will be like google chrome it will be firefox it will be internet explorer i'm selecting google from and just run it it will take me to the google chrome and it gives us example like this our output is like this uh, this is the example for button control click on me i will welcome you i just click this button it will give a message on this waveform that is hello welcome to the world of asp.net now now if we want to do some coding like that when i click on this button it will give a pop-up on this then how can we uh, <coughs> code like this just do the code in the click event of the button for this we'll write response dot write in this write method we'll uh, write the script tag over here which you are using in your html like this script i'm ending it also script okay inside this script tag we'll use alert method which you already used in html for your pop-up window so we are using alert in this alert we'll write a co write a message we want to print on our alert window for example hello everyone and we cannot use double quote over here we can use single quote over here and at the end of this alert method we have to write semicolon over here okay now the code is ready with us just we can check it by run it, running it if i click on this button it will give us a pop-up with the message hello everyone and then i just click on ok it will take us on return to the our web page that's it for button control example now we'll see the next control okay our next control is text box control text box control is an input control which allows you to enter the text if we want to give the style of this text box we have to use the property and this property is text mode property the text mode property is by default value is single line it means that we can input the text into a single line only if we want to add text in multi line we have to change this property text mode property to multi line there will be another options also like password and so on namespace hierarchy for this text box control is system dot object system dot web dot ui dot control system dot web dot ui dot web controls dot web controls and system dot web dot ui dot web control dot text box now we'll discuss some properties some general properties of text box control among these first is auto complete type it is used to obtain or set a value that indicates the autocomplete behavior of the text box control next is auto postbox it is used to obtain or set a value that indicates whether or not an automatic postback to the server occurs when the text box control is lose focus next is column it is used to obtain or set the display width of the text box in character next is maxed length it is used to set or obtain the maximum number of character allowed in a text box next is read only it is used to obtain or set 
a value indicating whether or not the content of the text box control can be changed next is rows it is used to set or obtain the number of rows displayed in a multi-line text box next is text it is used to set or obtain the text of the text box control next is text mode which already we discussed it is used to set or obtain the behavior mode it behavior mode can be single line multi-line or password next is wrap it is used to set or obtain a value indicating whether or not the text wraps within a multi-line text box or not there is a single event we will discuss of text box control that is text change it is occur when a user change the text of the text box control over here we can see a tag that define as a text box example uh, it will be like last control asp colon text box id equal to text box one run at server and we can close this tag like this also it is similar like html over here we can say text property is not over here because it is an input control and the whatever user will input in this control will be captured by this text property now we'll discuss the example of text box control to understand the example of text box control we'll continue with our last project just go to solution explorer just right click on project name and then add new item we'll add new waveform for example of text box control we'll give some appropriate name to it for example text box example it will add a waveform we'll go to design and we'll write something for it for example this is an example for text box control now if we want to add text text box control we have to go to tech toolbox and in toolbox text control is text box control is available over here we can just drag and drop at our appropriate location for example i am dragging and dropping it over here okay we'll just click on it and if we will press f4 it will take us to property window or we can directly go to the property window like this we can check the different property of it check over here text property of it is empty because the input will be given by user and this input is captured by this text property okay if we want to give the id of it we can change id of it like this for example we can give some appropriate id to it for example txt single because we are using it for single line text box okay now if we want to add some multi-line text box just drag and drop the text box control from toolbox okay go to the property and find the property text mode check it by default the text mode is single line if we want to change it we can change it to the multi-line check over here we can have many options for example password color date date and time email month number we can select it we doesn't have to provide validation to it it will directly take validation uh, for now we'll select multi-line from over here check it will add a scroll to our control text box control now it is allow us to enter multiple lines okay now we'll take an example of password text box also so we'll just drag and drop the text box from toolbox and i'm go to the text mode property and select it to the password okay it will take the input but this input will not shown by the user instead of it it will show some uh, special character to us okay apart from this i also take a single uh, text box single line text box over here 
okay and i am taking a button on it so i am going to code like this before moving to the actual implementation will give some name some id to the controls for example as we already give the id to this uh, control that is txt single will give id to this multi line text box like this txt multi okay so we can easily identify it at the time of coding txt pass word to this uh, text box control and this text box control i will use for giving the output of password text box so i will write like this txt output okay now my application will be like this when i click on this button some message will be appear over here some message will be appear in this multi line text box and whatever i will enter into this password uh, control it will directly appear into this txt out text box okay to do this just uh, create a click event of this button uh, control and to create this click event of this button control just double click on it it will take us to the uh, event now i will code for this for example i want to uh, give some message on our text box which we are taking as a single line text box okay to display some message on this text uh, text box we have to use text property of it so we'll write like this txt single it is nothing it is a id of that text box then we'll write text txt single dot text equals to i am single line text box okay if we want to give message in multi line text box then we'll find the id of it that is txt multi dot text that equals to we'll take some bigger message so it will give us the effect of the multi line text box for example i am multi line text box we are repeating this message for multiple times so we can uh, easily track the effect of multi line text box after this to display the uh, inputted text in password text box we are using uh, output text box and we are taking the id of it that is txt output dot text equals to over here we don't want to give some up predefined text or predefined string text entered into the password text box so what how can we do this to do that just find the uh, id of that password wala text box that is txt password dot txt because whatever will be input into the text box it is captured by this text property so this text property we will give to the output uh, text property this text property we will give to the text property of output text box that's it now we'll run and check the output okay so it will gives output us like this in this first text box when we'll click on this button some output will be there same in this multi line text box but we have to enter some value in this uh, text box and this text box we have uh, created as a uh, password with text mode so if we'll uh, enter something it will not display to it it will display uh, some special character instead of that actual character for example i am entering asp dot net so it will gives a dot 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 so user cannot see by it their own eye okay now when i click on this button this password character will be display over here so i am just clicking on this button it will give output like this i am single line text box then 
I am multi line text box where multiple times printed. You can check by dragging dropping it. it you can you, uh, you can uh, resize your multi line text box like this. Okay, then uh, we we had entered well some value into this text uh, text box and that and this value is for now display in this text board. That's it for uh, text box control example. That's all for this lecture. Other controls we will discuss in our next lecture. Thank you.